I'm Johnny. It's time for how to basic video blog. No, 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 not like that. No. So the process of making your own video blog is fascinating as fuck. Despite the massive, massive learning curve, it's not that hard to get started. In fact, that massive learning curve is really part of the process and part of the fun. You'll learn things like nonlinear editing, camera work, audio engineering, acting or speaking, microphone technique, programming, Photoshop, script writing, memes and memetics, self-promotion, or get, get your, your degree. degree. And if you don't learn these things, well, guess what, kids? Your video blog's gonna suck. Turn down the suck knob. But that's okay. Just like the first draft of everything is shit, your first couple of episodes is just gonna be shit. And that's cool. That's fine. It's all part of the process. And the real trick here is being able to identify that gap between where you suck and how you can get better. And that's the real trick. Because it's one thing to look at something and say, well, that doesn't measure up to my standards. It's another thing entirely to look at a thing and figure out, okay, my standards are this, and that doesn't measure up, so what does it take to get me there? And this is where I think real achievement lies, being able to compare your work with an impartial eye against another more professional work and determine what's missing. And I've harped on this before, and I will do it again. Measure yourself against something else so that you can figure out how far you need to go and hopefully how to get there. Okay, before you get started, you're gonna need some equipment. You know what? You probably already have it. All you really need when it comes right down to it is a phone. Now there's gonna be other equipment that's gonna make your experience better, you're gonna make the whole thing easier and the whole thing look more polished. But as long as you have a phone, you can at least get started. But if you can splurge, get some more. One of the things you can do is get yourself an LED studio light. They don't burn hot and you can change the color temperature to make it warm or cool. And you don't end up spending a lot of money replacing bulbs. As you can see, I use a mic, that's why. This is what I do for fun, is making the music. So using a mic was a really simple choice. You don't necessarily need an exterior mic, but it will make things sound significantly better. If you do have an exterior mic, you're gonna want one of these because you'll end up doing two streams, one for the video and one for the audio, and you gotta line it up. Badly synced. Kung Fu movie. The syncing was totally off. Presumably, if you got a legit camera, it would be even better. I know that the professional YouTubers use a full-on SLR digital blah, blah, blah camera, but I'm still using my phone, so I don't know anything about that. You got all your equipment together? Now it's time to write a script. The first script I wrote was word for word what I was going to say. And there were long pauses when I had to memorize a sentence and then say it on camera. And then memorize a sentence and say it on camera. And it took forever and it sucked. What I do now is I gather up my ideas in kind of point form. Sometimes I'll write out a full sentence if I find that there's a way I want to express it precisely. But point form rules, because then it lets me do it off the cuff and have a sense of naturalness to it rather than just blindly reading something off of a page. And when you're performing for the camera, there's this whole performing for the camera that you're going to want to do so that you're not just speaking in monotone guy voice. On top of that, you're going to want to listen to yourself speak for the camera and visualize how that is going to play out inside of your editing tool. And this is a skill that you're just gonna develop because there are gonna be times when you're gonna wanna leave a little space and there are gonna be times when you've smashed words together and you can hear yourself smashing those words together and you know, you know that you're gonna wanna do that one again. Where the natural place is to pause, especially if you do the jump cutty Zay Frankie style of video, if you're not cognizant of how those pauses in speech work, then when you edit it, you're gonna make it sound a little weird. And that again is a skill that I'm currently failing at, by the way. When I first started, what I did is I took the video and I sped up what I was saying because I like that fast jump cut style. So using my editor, I sped it up because I was a slow talker. After time, with all the practice in front of the camera, I got better at speaking, I got better at speaking quickly, and I got better at expressing my ideas. And one thing we've never really done 
It's play around with different camera angles. All right, hopefully that gets you started if you're interested in this insanity. And until next time, throwing eggs at your studio is not fun.